Hello everyone! In this video, pag-usapan natin ang correlation analysis. So, ang mga objective natin ay describe the nature of bivariate data, construct the scatter plot for a set of bivariate data, estimate the strength of association between two variables based on the scatter plot, calculate the person's R, product moment correlation coefficient, and then interpret the computed R in terms of strength and direction, and apply and solve a real-life problems correlation analysis. Okay, define muna natin ano bang pinagkaiba ni univariate data at ni bivariate data. When we say a univariate data, it deals with a single independent variable, meaning uh, pwede natin i-describe yung ating population using a single variable. Uh, ano ba yon? Pwede natin gumamit ng mean or yung ating average. Measures of central tendency, yung mean, median, and mode. Measures of variation, yung ating variance and the standard deviation. And the other descriptive statistic. At pag sinabi naman natin bivariate data, it involves two variables from the word by, the prefix by, it means two. It describes the relationships using correlation analysis. The relationship or correlation may indicate the following. Number one, degree of association. We sabihin, what type of relationship ang meron sa isa't isa? Example, English and math grade of group of students. Kung bagay, kapag ba, Kapag ba nakakuha ka ng mataas na score sa English, makakuha ka rin ba ng score, uh, na score, mataas na score sa math or vice versa. Number two, cause and effect. So, cause and effect, it can answer the question, may kinalaman ba ang mga ito sa isa't isa? Baga nakaka-apekto ba yung mga variable na yan sa isa't isa? Example, nutritional status of pupils and their academic performance in math. Yung bang... Yung bang nutrition status mo, mahapekto ba sa performance mo in math? Number three, predictive ability. Kaya niyang ma-predict okay, yung dependent variable. Example, entrance test and grades of freshman students. Kumbaga, using the entrance test score, okay, pwede natin ma-predict yung grade ng isang freshman student. Number four, reliability of test. Example niyan, yung mga teacher made test. In that test, we measure consistency ng score ng isang bata. Kumbaga, we give, we give the same test twice or more to the same student at different times or same time. So, kapag nakakuha siya ng, ng parehong scores, sabihin, consistent siya. And reliable. Okay. So, ano ni mga examples natin of correlation in a real-life situation? Number one, the more social distancing I do, the lesser the risk of acquiring COVID-19 virus. Number two, the more you spend running on a treadmill, the more calories you will burn. Number three, taller people have larger shoe sizes and the shorter people have smaller shoe sizes. Number four, the longer your hair grows, the more shampoo you will need. And number five, the less time I spend marketing my business, the fewer new customer I will have. Number six, the slower the internet speed I have, the more chances of disconnecting from an online class. So those are the examples of correlation in real-life basis. Okay, so ano abang correlation analysis? Si correlation analysis, it's a method that we use to determine Kung may relationship ba yung dalawang variable. It measures the association or the strength of the relationship between two variables. Okay? Co means together, relation means connection. Okay? It's also defined as the relationship between two or more variables that are linked together. So, in statistics, the application of the rectangular coordinate system, yung ating Cartesian plane, Okay, ay ginagagamit natin dito to create the scatter diagram or yung tinatawag nating scatter plot. So, ano ka ba yung scatter plot? Si scatter plot will tell us the trend line, trend line ng ating dalawang variable. Kung baga, using the scatter diagram, makikita natin visually yung illustration ng dalawang variable kung gaano ba sila ka-correlated ka sa isa't isa. 
It's a graphical representation of the relationship between the two variables. Okay? Example ng scatter plot diagram is look like this. Yung sabihin, meron tayong uh, x values and y value, independent and dependent variable. So in here, ang x natin ay yung temperature and then ry is the sales. So, as you can see, paano tayo nagpa-plot? Para ka lang pong nagpa-plot ng, ng points in a Cartesian chain. For example, 36 comma 123. In this case, nasan ba yung 36 natin? Diba? Ito po yung 36. Okay? And then, ito po yung pang ating 123. So, ito po yung point. So, magpa-plot-plot ka lang po. Okay, so as you can see, anong may interpret natin dyan? Yung ating trend line, ito pong tawag dyan ay trend line. Okay, nakikita nyo naman in a positive direction. So as your, as your x increases, your y also increases. So ano po yung relationship ng dalawang wire? Magkadikit po ba? Malayo ba sa isa't isa? So doon mo may kita yung relationship nila. True scatter plot diagram. Okay. So, meron po tayong mga types of okay, linear correlation. Number one, positive linear correlation. As y increases, x also increases. Ito yung itsura ng graph niyan. So, may kita nyo po dito yung trend line niya. It goes to a positive direction. So, sa letter A, we have positive, strong positive, and a perfect positive. So, anong ibig sabihin niyan? In a positive, ibig sabihin po, ah, uh, Hindi siya ganun kadikit-dikit. Okay, pero medyo dikit-dikit lang sila. Ano yung direction nila? It goes to a positive direction. So, ibig sabihin parang mild lang or moderate lang yung relationship niya sa isa't isa. Sa letter B naman, kapag ganyan na itsura ng ating graph, dikit-dikit sila. So, ibig sabihin strong or very high yung ating relationship. And sa letter C naman, kung may kita mo po, diretsong diretso siya. Ayan, nakita nyo po ba? So, diretsong-diretso, ibig sabihin, nakakapag-create ka dyan ng isang straight line. Linear. Okay? Perfect positive po yan. Okay? Second type natin is you have the no correlation. Meaning, as x increases, there's no change in y. Wala kang may kitang relationship sa dalawang variable. So, example po ng, ng graph is katito. Okay? So, hindi mo makita kung, kung positive direction ba siya or negative direction. So, may kita mo dyan, layo-layo sila. So, meaning, no relationship. And then, thirdly, we have the negative linear correlation. Y decreases, X increases. So, pa-negative po yung direction niya. So, sa negative na to, bisan moderate lang or mild lang po yung kanyang relationship. Hindi siya ganun kadikit-dikit. Hindi rin naman siya ganun kalayo-layo. And then, sa letter E, strong, negative, yung sabihin po, Dikit-dikit sila, so meron silang very high okay, negative relationship. And then lastly, kung may kita nyo po, this is a perfect negative. Okay, straight line. Okay? So, yung mga yan, meron po tayong tinatawag na strength of relationship or yung degree of association. So, using that graph, may kita natin, ano ba yung mga strength of relationship ng dalawang variable? So, first, we have the perfect positive correlation. If R equals to 1, high positive, low, no correlation means R equals to 0, low negative correlation, high negative, and perfect negative correlation. So, yan po yung sura ng mga graph natin sa scatter plot kapag pinlat po natin yung dalawa for your point. Okay, trend line tells us direct, the direction of the correlation. Closeness of the points on the trend line indicates the relationship of the variable. Strong correlation, moderate, weak, or no correlation. Okay, it can be positive or negative, pwede ding wala, weak, moderate, or strong. Okay, so that's how we see the degree of association and strength of relationship using the scatter diagram.